It's day 10 of our blind whiskey advent calendar. Hey, welcome back to Barrels and Bark. I'm Zach. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are on day 10 here. We have our sample, we have our answer key, we have an empty glass, and let's get started. If you're not familiar, my wife has poured uh, 24 different samples from my collection of a 200 plus bottles. She's written them down, numbered them, and I each day am taking one and trying to guess and rate these samples. So let's jump in and give ourselves a little pour here. Day 10, this looks very dark. Just looking at the bottle here, uh, it's going for a, a smell here. Okay, oak hits right off the bat for me. A little bit of sweetness, you get kind of that buttery caramel. Okay, it definitely kind of hangs on that sweetness, that oak comes through. So just by the smell and the color here, this is probably somewhat a aged or a finished bourbon, just because of the, the smell and the color here gives it off. Okay, man, I just get a lot of the buttery caramel and oak just pretty dominant. So let's go in for a sip here. Okay, the sweetness carries through. The oak is definitely coming through. Definitely has the spice. Definitely has this kind of peanut shell taste, which tends to, for me, I have a bunch of Knob Creeks. That's kind of where I would say, that's kind of where I'm leaning towards. This is a possibly a Knob Creek. Definitely has some proof on it. So it's uh, north of 100, probably north of 110, maybe in the 120. It's fairly proofy. Let's go in for another sip. Okay. The spice is just comes out really strong. Kind of that peppery, uh, minty. I don't think this is a rye. Pretty sure it's not a rye, but there's probably some rye in it, obviously. You get, the mouthfeel on it is really decent, it coats really well, but you get a lot of that kind of spicy, peppery, sweetness, caramely, and then oak definitely kind of dries out the back there. It's fairly dry on the finish there, but uh, really good mouthfeel, really good sweetness mixed with that spice. Um, it's, uh, it's good, it's good. It's definitely one that uh, I think if you like a lot of that kind of spice in your bourbons, this is definitely one. It kind of has to be the right uh, moment for that, but uh, I'm going for one more sip. Yeah, good, good bourbon. It's uh, definitely like, reminds me of kind of a Knob Creek. So it's good. You know, it's uh, probably 7.7. .7. I think the spiciness, you have to be in the right mood for that kind of spicy, peanut shell, but the sweetness, the mouthfeel, the coating definitely boosts up the points for me on that. I think this is a Knob Creek. It's hard to say because it definitely has some proof on it. So it could be a single barrel. It could be, could be a 12 year. The 12 year definitely could be that. So uh, I'm going to say Knob Creek 12 year. I don't know if it's that. But, uh, let's see how I did. Day 10. Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. Wow, okay. I uh, definitely makes sense now, now, that I'm, now that I'm tasting it more and more. I remember that batch proof being, I think it's 123 proof. Um, it's, there you have it, day 10, Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. Uh, this year's 124 proof. There you have it. Thanks again, we'll see you tomorrow.